A silly joke or venting your anger on Twitter and Facebook could now net you a jail sentence, courtesy of the British authorities. There's a growing number of prosecutions resulting from offensive, provocative or even misunderstood posts. RT Polly Boyka reports from London. Do you think before you tweet? And what if you're in a bad mood or you just have a controversial opinion? Would you post that as your Facebook status? You might think that what you type is insignificant considering the vast expanse of the internet. Think again for something that you type on here. You could end up in there. Paul Chambers. Two years ago, the accountant, worried that he might not be able to fly due to bad weather, tweeted, Robin Hood Airport is closed. You've got a week and a bit to get your together, otherwise I'm blowing the airport sky high. Arrested, questioned for eight hours, convicted and fined. The tweet lost him his job and cost him thousands in lawyers' fees. Chambers' case branded the Twitter joke trial drew such widespread condemnation that it was eventually overturned by the High Court. 19-year-old Linford House posted a photograph of a burning paper poppy on his Facebook page, a symbol of remembrance for the soldiers that die in war. Arrested, questioned and held for 24 hours before being released on bail. We're very worried about people being taken to court for um, essentially having uh, a fit of bad temper and saying things in an intemperate way. I think that's wrong because people start to look over their shoulders and wonder whether they're actually allowed to express the opinions uh, that they actually hold. Um, I'm also worried about the kind of people who are getting these convictions. Often they are people with political views and it's a very bad thing when people start to be told that they can't say things because their political views are offending others. The law used to convict most social media offences was drafted before Twitter and Facebook were even conceived. It was meant to protect individuals from being harassed or threatened over the telephone. Free speech advocates question how that relates to posting your opinion online. The trouble is that when things are posted on things like Twitter and Facebook is that they're there for all to see and for people to share. And so there definitely becomes an element of mob rule and then pressure is put on the police forces to act on that rather than abiding to the legal system that we currently have. Teenager Matthew Woods found out all about mob rule after making offensive tweets about a missing five-year-old girl. An angry crowd gathered outside his house and he was arrested and sentenced to 12 weeks in jail. But I don't think anyone ever expected political correctness to become enforced by criminal law. Um, if, uh, if somebody is rude to me, then I want the right to be rude back. I don't want the right to phone the police and get them to come around and arrest that person. I don't think that's the hallmark of a free and, and grown-up society. As Twitter users tattle tale on each other, the law isn't quite sure how to respond to those wanting to test how far freedom of speech in the UK really goes. The UK's Director of Public Prosecutions has promised to draft new guidelines on how to respond to online offences. But campaigners say that it's not just guidelines, but reform that's urgently needed if the UK is to uphold its freedom of speech online. Polly Boyko, RT, Cyberspace.